Okay folks, welcome back to Vice City with the Hard Lined mod. Let's get this show back on the road. In this recording session, I would like to have a go at the missions for Phil Cassidy. Yep, Gun Runner and Boomshine Saigon. Let me just grab this uh, cheetah while I'm here. Hello? So, for Gun Runner, I would like to use the All Proof Admiral once again, yes, because I reckon that car will save my bacon once again. I was thinking about some uh, other missions in this mod in which the uh, Admiral could come in handy. Uh, Martha's Mugshot, check out at the check-in. Yeah, those two missions spring to mind first. Especially check out at the check-in. So I'll pick up the Admiral from Hyman Condo, and at some point I'll probably put it in my garage on Starfish. And I remember someone suggested that, and it makes sense because Starfish is pretty much right in the middle of uh, Vice City. Right. Yep, still there. I didn't leave anything in here, did I? Oh, I did, yeah, of course, the, <laughs> the hot ring racer. I'll tell you what. I haven't uh, saved using a a save icon in a while, have I? Yeah. Okay. I need to be careful when I park this because I think if you uh, leave a vehicle anywhere in Phil's place and then start Gun Runner, that vehicle is uh, erased. But I think if I leave it uh, on the road, you know, not too far from uh, Kaufman cabs. It might remain in memory. I'm just trying to remember what I did f for Gun Runner in my six and seven stars playthroughs. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not sorry. She was the silly bitch. She was the silly bitch who yanked me out of my helicopter that time, yeah, in friendly rivalry. Right, let's see what happens here. Before any of them Im oh god. So I'm timed this time. Oh, it has gone. Okay. Sorry, folks. Jeez. I know I could uh, put the all proof admiral in my garage on Starfish and then pick it up during uh, Gun Runner, but do I have enough time to do that? Probably not because this car could be quicker, shall we say. But I'll put it in my garage on Starfish anyway, just so it's there. I'd also like to have a go at naval engagement again in this recording session. I'd like to see if uh, the ammunition glitch will work this time around. And I just thought it might because um, I'm not 100% sure but I think when the ammunition glitch is active enemies don't attack you. There's only one way to find out. I was actually uh, thinking about using the ammunition glitch to help me get past the job more easily as well, but uh, that wouldn't have worked because you have to press the enter vehicle button 
and if you do that, it ends the ammunition glitch. And I suspect that's uh, Kemp Paul. I think I'll get that call out of the way. And then I'll save outside Phil's place. So, if you're going to use the ammunition glitch to get past naval engagement more easily, specifically the uh, boat owl shooting section, I'll use either the M4 or Spaz shotgun. And I think you can, you can only get that phone call when you're on Starfish. Anyway, folks. Let's get on with it. And I can do a triple P save to uh, get that armour back. Pew, pew, pew. I left a bike in here instead. Will it still disappear? Probably. Right. And I've made a backup as always. Right. Fingers crossed. I'm curious to see what the weapons will be this time around because I know that one of them is an M60. Drat. Where are they, by the way? Oh, fuck me, the airport. That's a good start, not. I'm also curious to see if I'll be able to buy the same weapons from Phil's place once Boomshine Saigon is out of the way. Yes, I'm pretty sure on this uh, mod's download page, it says something like um, access to heavy weapons or powerful weapons is uh, very limited this time around, or something along those lines anyway. Bloody hell, they can shift. Well, there's still Waltons. Okay, that wasn't my bike. Come the hell here! What weapon has that guy got? Uh, an Uzi, okay. And it's more difficult to uh, knock the crates off the trucks this time, unfortunately. Oh, brass knuckles! <laughs> yeah, because normally uh, the weapons are Mac, Python, Spaz shotgun, and M60. Right, I'm gonna have to uh, grab. A cheetah. If, if I'm going to pass this mission. Okay, so not all of them have uh, gunmen in them. Okay. Okay, pistol. Oh, you got to pick it up. Okay. I couldn't remember if I had a python or not, and then I suddenly remembered the job. Triple quack. Right, um... Uh... Oh, that guy's way too far north. Oh, they chase you in there. Uh, bloody hell. Banshee, Stinger, Cheetah, Infernus. Right, okay. What's the plan, que pasa, amigo? The plan is you keep doing that like a moron. Anyhow, we need a driver. Hmm. It's a shame that uh, any vehicle that you bring disappears regardless of where you leave it. As far as I know. Right, I'll go for the one up north first. Yeah, start at the top and work my way down. Grab the uh, 
for you while I'm here. Okay. Right, you. What if I use a Spaz shotgun? Or just do this? Okay. Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> a camera! <laughs> You still have to uh, kill the dealers as well. Well, given that it says put them out of commission, you probably do. Or maybe the clock disappears once they're all dead. I mean, once you picked up all the guns. Right, hold on. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> nice one! Oh god, I'm gonna get creamed. Yes! Well, they've got a fuckload of accuracy. Okay. Okay. So the trick is, just start from the top and work your way down. Yep. But I don't recommend being on foot. Even if you do have a very powerful Spaz shotgun. I'll equip the Spaz shotgun anyway. And off we go. Click, click. Okay. Fourth time's the charm, hopefully. Uh, oh, hello. Yes, please. I think I'll just uh, keep the python equipped. At least you can sprint with that weapon, unlike some weapons. Right. Nice. Uh, oh, I almost... Uh, Got off the bike too early there. Okay. Float it, Mr. Versetti. Uh, I should be coming up on one now. Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Right, um, pop. I was just waiting for the crate to burst. Right, go, 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 go. Okay, so much for 100% accuracy. They ain't got it. Suits me. Right, where are they now? Right. Like before, one of them should be uh, just going past the cop shop. Yeah, it's easy as long as you're fast. Right. Okay, three stars, let's go. I'm, I think it is possible to get around those uh, billboards that are between Little Havana and the airport, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's easier to do that in uh, Vice City Stories. Right. Oh. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Baseball season. Oh. Oh, good. The clock does go away. Perfect. Good. I had a feeling that would happen, given that um, it said put them out of commission before they import their guns. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Right. What to do here? Uh. Hmm. Ow. <laughs> nice job. Not. If I can get the driver out. <laughs> Charming. Well, it's GTA. What do you expect? Okay, he's finished. Just don't get Ultra Cop now. <gasps> you know, you might as well just uh, stay on the bike and just let them have it with the Mac. I've got heaps of ammo for that. Yeah. Why the hell not? Right. 
I know that in the previous mission attempt, or a previous mission attempt, I uh, didn't get two stars after I picked up the second weapon. Because uh, my one star went away before I picked up the second weapon. But you don't have time to uh, take your time in this mission with this mod. Alright, hold on a minute. What's the plan? I'll see if I can climb up on the wall. Right. Yep, he's gone. Two down. Oh! So do you get that message um, when you kill one of the backup enemies? Probably. So now you get a bonus if you do kill them in the vanilla game. Judging by the sound effects, I think you uh, lose shit cash on this occasion. Right, pain sprays right here. I might as well get these tyres fixed up. Okay. FBI rancher, please take note. Yeah, I think the only police vehicles that you can export, I mean, repair at a pain spray in this game are police cheetahs and FBI Washingtons. Yeah, I wasn't totally sure. I think it's still a uh, hundred dollars that you lose. Right, I should probably get this repaired again. And what was I saying? Yeah, in the job I uh, tried to uh, take an FBI rancher to a pain spray and I wasn't 100% sure it... Hello? <laughs> nice of you to drop in. Oof, yeah. Come on! Jeez, I just got this thing repaired for the love of God. Yeah, but I wasn't totally sure if you were able to take that vehicle to a pain spray in this game or not. FBI Washington, yes, yeah, I knew that. But I wasn't totally sure about the rancher. Right, I'll quickly grab the police car without getting busted. No, you're fine. Ooh! If I'd mistimed that or made that turn wrong, that guy could have busted me very easily. Come on. Go, go, go. <laughs> is that going to disappear? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, and the reason uh, the P on the radar isn't there is because I need to take a phone call from Phil. Foist of all. Okay. Okay, it's got to wait about for a bit. He's taking his time. Hmm. I normally get the call uh, soon after passing Gunrunner. Uh, right, what I'll do is I'll save over a different slot. And then I'll reload and see what happens. Well, according to the save file, I did pass Gunrunner. Successfully. Where's Boomshine Saigon? Hasn't the fo Ah, there we go, sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's Phil. Now cut out all the reminiscent crap and listen to me, you hear? Good. I got me some extra strength Boomshine during fermentation time, and I was wondering if you'd fancy having a shot. Seriously, Tommy. If you like a drink, or if you need to strip paint, this stuff will make a man out of you. Sure did out of me, even though I can't see out of one eye. I'll be waiting for you, you hear? And there we have it, boys and girls. Boomshine Saigon is not glitched out. 
Right, once again, I'll do a triple P save in Phil's place and then get on with the missions. Uh, I think I'll save again just so I can see a bit clearer. <clears throat> oh no, <laughs> so it's similar to uh, I'll take her from the uh, GTA 4. Does he lose health at a quicker rate as well? It looks like it. I'll scratch your eyes out. Scratch my fucking balls, bitch. And I'm assuming he still loses health when you crash as well. Please, Phil, stop it. Jeez. Ah, uh, yeah. That answers that question. Ooh. Yeah, his health is definitely going down faster. I'm, I'm not going to make it in time. I already know I'm not. Okay. By the way, was his uh, yeah? Where's his boomshine bomb? <laughs> Weird. Right, just try not to hit a thing. <laughs> Bloody hell! Oh, flipping it! I'm starting again. Just seen that machine back there with the word nag on it. It's giving me a uh, red dead memories. Work you damn nag. Now this is ridiculous. <laughs> Bloody traffic, honestly. I've got to take that uh, wide road that runs along the east edge of the mainland. It's the most direct route to the hospital. Come on, Phil. Will you leave the bloody steering wheel be? Get out of the way, folks. Come on. Can you not see the blood coming out the back of the vehicle? Obviously not. Shit. How did I avoid hitting that voodoo? No idea. Ooh. Ouch. This is a nasty one. Right, um, will you st stop crashing for once? Well, I would stop crashing if not for pissed as a fart Cassidy in the passenger seat. Hopefully I can make the traffic uh, not spawn by doing this. Then I can't see where I'm going. Nope. And I'm assuming we have to stay in the Patriot as well. Yep. Didn't expect anything less. Oh good. No oncoming cars for once. Straighten up. Come on, come on. Out the way, stallions. And you, Rumpo. Ooh. No, come on. Shit you, honestly. Shit you. You need a perfect run.
Right, oh god. Yeah, that only happened because I was holding the accelerator button down just before the screen faded in from black. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, by the time he gets to the hospital, he's lost more than half of his health. Speak of the hospital, I haven't got there in a while because I keep restarting. If you crash, you might as well just restart. Well, let's see how I get on at least. Those tyre marks are still there from <laughs> the last time I got here. Hmm. I'd say if you crash once, and if it's a light crash, just keep going. Because I reckon I might make it in the nick of time if I just keep going. Oh, I'll try to make that the only crash. Out of the way, Cuban Hermes. Right, make that the only uh, moderately big crash that you do until the end of the mission. Right. Right. Ugh, stop it! Right, oh, f why, why a fucking Yankee of all things? No one I better turn left here. Okay, keep moving. Move! Oh, fuck you! Shit! I was probably going to do it there as well, then dickhead von shit eater came out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't even want to know. You know, if this turns out to be the mission of the playthrough, I wouldn't be at all surprised. <laughs> right, come on, come on. Move out of the way, Idaho's. Stay away truck. Truck off. Get the truck out of here. No, seriously, do. Alright, no blister. You may as well be called blister compost. For all I care. Not compact. Right, stay away from those objects on the right hand side. Right, go! Right, no morons coming out of nowhere, I hope. Well, the fact that I hit that traffic light and that wall didn't help. No, no, no. Mm. And avoiding hitting things is extremely tough with uh, Phil playing with the steering wheel randomly. That's why I keep hitting shit. Why did you have to do that? Oh. It's official, everything's out to get you in this mission. It really is. Mm. Oh, come on! Yeah, he's definitely playing with the steering wheel at random times. I think that's the first time that's happened in this mission. That was a big chunk of health lost right there. Nope. 
Right, just a few more tries, and if still no luck, I'm going to move on to a naval engagement. But first I'll have to do the ammunition glitch. And for that, I will need a taxi. What the fuck is going on up there? It sounds like the dog is misbehaving. Phil! I'm gonna fucking kill you. Phil! Honestly! You're a f you're the passenger, not the driver. Leave the driving to Tommy. Watch out. Charlie the tree light. Right, come on. Oh, that was a bad one. Right. They always go where you don't want them to go. You can't win. If you want to If you want to go around them, they go left at that junction. If you want to go right immediately, they go right as well. No. I'd say this is uh, possibly the most frustrating mission in the mod so far. Right. Oh my god. Well, I drove past a cop car in a previous attempt at this mission and didn't get a wanted level. So why am I getting one now? Hmm? Uh, bye. <laughs> well, it's a roll of the dice if a cop car spawns on that road or not. Or anywhere for that matter. Right, this is going to be my... No, the next attempt is going to be my last attempt. And then I'll move on to naval engagement. Yep. One more. And then naval engagement. I need my taxi first though. Can you imagine this mission with seven stars? So Stu, how did you get seven stars? Um, something in the back of my head is telling me that I used a mod to get seven stars, but that is the biggest pile of bullcrap I have ever heard in my life. Right. Sorry Boomshine Saigon, I'm coming back for you later. Okay. Hope that taxi doesn't take forever and a day to spawn. Quack. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Oh, of course. There's the zebra cab and Kaufman cabs. Of course. Of course there is. I quite agree. This car is a piece of shit. Okay. I'm pretty sure the glitch also works with uh, tool shops, not just ammunition. Okay. Of course, I'll have to uh, keep making the very, very uh, long trip from ammunition down to Cafe Rubina. No, down to. Uh, well, I was going to say from ammunition down to Cafe Rubina and then the pier where you meet Rico, but then again, I can do a, another triple P save outside Cafe Rubina anyway, so yeah, it's fine. It's not too bad. Right. Uh, what will I use first? Hmm. 
And given that I've got more uh, ammo for the Spaz shotgun, I think I'll use that. Right. And I'll save over this one. And then if I reload... Good. The Spaz shotgun is glued to Tommy's hands. Okay, so hopefully when the boat shooting section of naval engagement begins, I'll be able to use this weapon. Remember, I must not press left, right, or the enter vehicle button. Okay. Once I'm on the roof of this car, I will speed it up. Okay, I finally made it to Cafe Rubina with the ammunition glitch still active. So, it looks like, um, yeah, watch this. Oh, they do still attack you. Okay, okay. Interesting. Jesus, they do still attack you. Fuck. Right, hold on, let me reload it. Yeah, I noticed that uh, during the trip, as in the extremely fucking long trip to the cafe, the Haitians weren't shooting me. Which was leading me to believe that uh, I wouldn't get attacked by any enemies or hostiles or what have you when the ammunition glitch is active, but uh, clearly not. So, it looks like the boat shooting section during this mission is still going to be pretty damn tough. Okay, we're almost there, and because the uh, cost $4,000 subtitle overwrites all other subtitles, um, I might end up uh, missing important pieces of information. Right, we'll skip that. Right, let's see. Yep, good, good, good. And you can crouch and stand up to cancel out the reload animation, that's right. Watch your head, Tommy. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do here. Oh dear. Yeah, the reason I chose the Spaz shotgun is because that's nice and powerful. I can maybe use it to take out the boats more easily. Such as that one right there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, maybe I should have used the M4 instead. I guess so. Okay. I still have to be a pretty damn good shot, unfortunately. Oh! <laughs> How did I know that was going to happen? I think the M4 is the best weapon to use, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Right, I am going to grab another taxi and I'll head back up to ammunition and I'll use the 
M4 this time. So that's got a better rate of fire than the Ruger that you're forced to use. Yeah, again, the reason I chose the Spaz shotgun is because it has a very... I mean, it's, it's very powerful here. It inflicts a lot of damage, especially to vehicles. But uh, it has a shitty range. So, I'll see how I get on with the M4. That's got a much better range and a higher rate of fire than the... Ruger. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then reload. Should still be able to use the M4. Yep, yeah, that's still on the screen, it's glued to Tommy's hand, let's go! Right, finally got here. Buy some more ammo for it, just in case. And then save again to keep the armour. Okay, fingers crossed the M4 does the job. It might be worth uh, uh, lowering the mouse sensitivity again. Okay, here we are. Now, once... Yeah, I'm gonna lower the mouse sensitivity a wee bit now. Okay. That should hopefully be uh, down enough. Oh, I just noticed. I'm back to using the bloody Ruger. Shit, I literally just noticed. Ouch. I got that guy in the leg at least. Right. One guy has a shotgun on this boat coming up. I think it's the guy at the front. I got them both, well done. Nicely done. Right, the guy on the right hand dinghy also has a shotgun. Ouch. I got him, but it was too late. <laughs> How are you meant to get that guy? <laughs> You're not. Why'd you have to reload? Because my clip ran out, that's why. So are there enemies on this boat as well, just coming up? Yeah. And the game just crashed. Nice. Yeah, I think the only reason I changed back to the Ruger is because the M4 is the same type of weapon as the Ruger. Okay, so it depends on the weapon type or weapon slot. 
So I suspect if you did the ammunition glitch to uh, try and use the python instead of the pistol during the shootest, you would still use the pistol. Well, I am curious about something else though. What will happen... Uh oh. Bloody hell. What will happen if I press left or right or the return key to warp back to ammunition? Yeah, to end the glitch? Well, I'm not entirely sure what uh, the return key does. Well, I do know it ends the glitch, but I'm not sure if it warps you back to the shop. The left and right certainly do. Right, I'll see you back at the jetty. Hey, Rico. Come on. Right, I'm going to press... I'll press the left. And then press return. Oh! Okay. So I'm stuck with using the Spaz shotgun again. How interesting. Okay. Nice. The ghost ship right there, everybody. Oh, bloody hell, guys. Right, hold on. Let me reload. Here they come. Nice one, so that hunter doesn't have a lot of health. For once, I take out the hunter. Right. Ah, but the guy on the golf course can hit me from fucking miles away. Unfortunately. And there's the guy in the jetty coming up. Yeah, this one. I might be able to get him from here, you know. You were saying? Oh hey, at least the hunter's gone. Oh, I don't know if that was me. <laughs> uh, wrong one, okay. Right, um, I suspect this car will take off if I shoot it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes they take off. Sometimes they take off, sometimes they... get out and run. And I notice with the shotgun, they always get out and run away. Okay. So, I, uh, I pressed left which brought me back to the Spaz shotgun and then I pressed return to come out of ammunition and then I was warped back to the boat. Okay, so I can still do the Spaz shotgun strategy. What if I used a sniper rifle instead? And that might be a bit tricky because uh, uh, you have to be very, very accurate and Rico's boat keeps bobbing up and down, and uh, that's the laser scope sniper rifle. The red dot in the middle doesn't appear unless the target is uh, close enough, you know? Ah. I'll just get the police car then. I can't shoot this though. Right, enough yapping, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'm going to try using the sniper rifle this time. Uh, right, and then... Can I, st I can still aim. Good. Right, hold on. 
gun. Let me see if I can take out the boats. Yes! Uh, ooh. Okay, that's annoying. I can't aim anymore. Oh, shit. I can't aim anymore. I'm holding the... Yeah, the aim button. And nothing's happening. Oh, we're going to get wrecked again, unfortunately. Okay, that's good to know. Right. Let me reload. And the plan is... Bugger off. <laughs> when I start the boat shooting section, I'll switch to the sniper rifle again, but I'll buy a fuckload of ammo for it, okay? Yes, there we go. But I mustn't come out of aim mode, okay? Because it looks like when you go into aim mode and then, and then come out of aim mode with the sniper rifle, aim mode is then disabled. Okay. Okay, so just press it once. That should be more than enough, I think. Right. Stay in the aim mode, okay? Please. Come. The fast reload ability would help, but uh, I'm getting on okay so far, anyway. Right. I heard an. I heard a Ruger going off there. Who from? Don't know. I think I got the shotgun guy. Yes. Oh, okay. Just don't let go of that aim button, otherwise you're fucked. Okay, I'll at least get the shotgun guy. Got him. And I can get the hunter again. Oh, okay. Oh, I did get him, okay. Right, can I get that guy? Yes, I can for once I get that guy. Well, if I have gotten before, I can't remember. Right in the leg. Right, let's take out that yacht. Or just take him out, yeah? <laughs> Who gives a shit about the yacht? Right, I think this is the furthest I've got. No, I remember that guy. It's okay, you can live. Oh fuck. Another shotgun twat. Right. What now? Yeah, this is the furthest I've got. And I still don't know where the deal takes place. Oh. That was indeed a scripted boat. Right. Later on, I'll uh, run through the ammunition glitch again, as in how to do it. Okay, that's definitely a scripted boat. Nice. Oh, is it on Prawn Island this time, not Starfish Island? Looks kind of like it. Those, dear boy, are flowers, not enemies. Oh, it's okay. Because I'm on foot and not doing the driving, those police boats won't chase us. Oh! Interesting. Cortez's yacht. <laughs> okay, I can now use any weapon I like. My aim's gone back up, by the way, hasn't it? Mouse sensitivity. Right. Ooh, look at that. My brass knuckles are still here. Yeah, because in the vanilla game, after you, after you arrive at the deal in this mission, your brass knuckles are taken away from you. 
Right. Gun. Stubby shotguns suck. That was a regular shotgun. Okay, oh, hold on. Just a sec. Right, there's a shit box there. Uh, no, I can't do that. I bet I've got to use that boat to escape. And I'm assuming those stairs are the only way up. Right, I got hit by a cop and his nightstick earlier on. That's why I've lost a bit of armour. That better not go against me. Anyone inside? <gasps> Shit! Well done. How they didn't hit me is beyond me. Who cares they didn't? Right, what happens now? Yeah, his boat still gets... Oh. Then making my lovely Jason boy shake the head. Blow the boat to coffin wood. Is she in that submarine? <laughs> Stay clear from the Haitian submarine. Oh fuck that. Right, I need to get off this thing. No. Is that uh Right. I wonder if I can use that dinghy. Or if I have to use the Tropic. Oh come on. Come on, tell me, please, before you get sunk. Uh, hopefully I can just jump into this. Oh no, I can't. Bloody hell. Can I just uh, press return? Oh, I can, okay, that's fine. No need to get... No need to jump off the yacht at all. Right, oh fuck, right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Right. Uh, I've lost my sniper rifle, unfortunately. Let me take them out and him. Right, quickly. Go, oh, come on. I need to find somewhere to get out safely. If I get sunk by that helicopter, I'm going to be so mad. if I can get out here. Ooh, I've made the helicopter go away. I think I have, yeah. Right, this is a tall boat. Okay. Right, just get to the seaplane dock. Right, please don't get your feet wet, Tommy. Okay. Creative mission, I like it. Uh, just a sec. Okay. Good job. Thank God I've bought the uh, film studio. Right, I'll uh, grab the Patriot from, from round the back. And I'll use that to get back. Watch out for the SWAT swats. <clears throat> Go this way. Oh god. Boom shine Saigon, anyone? Here comes a mega cop. Oh, that's not a mega cop. At least I don't think it is. Quack. Right, I'm gonna grab a chopper and fly back. Yes. Right. So a reminder of how to pull off the ammunition glitch, which allows you to use almost any weapon during um, sections of the game where you're forced to use a, a certain weapon 
such as in Phnom Penh 86 and the shootest. Right, so get a taxi, start taxi driver, hold down the look behind button, get out of the taxi but keep look behind held down, walk into the pink marker inside ammunition, highlight the weapon that you want, and then let go of the look behind button and then do a triple P save with this mod and then reload that save file and there you go but just don't press left, right or the enter vehicle button but in my case I was able to do that right yeah it allowed me to switch to the sniper rifle and then press the enter vehicle button or return and then it still warped me back to Rico's boat. Complicated I know but hey it works. Right, what's Trojan Voodoo gonna be like? Oh look at that. Woof. Calm down buddy. Hmm. Maybe I should have got uh seventy five health from a prostitute. Whoa, man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Yeah, you said that already. Change the record. It's official, he's not. This car's a trap, oh god. Yeah, I had a feeling that car being there was a bit uh, fishy, shall we say. Okay, okay. And then, you know what? There's a prostitute right there. Right. Um, how the hell did that uh, Cuban Hermes disappear? It was very close. Come on. Yeah, I would like to get 75 points of health. Right, hold on. Is that lady going to get in my car? Uh, no, she is not interested. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll see how I get on without the 75 points of health for now. Right.